Does your PlayStation 4 turn off after a few minutes of play? Or um, if it's giving you the PS4 too hot message um, on, on screen and then it turns off, you could have a defective fan. Um, this is a client's PS4, it was brought in today, and it turns off within the first two or three minutes of turning it on uh, with a game inside. Um, and I've diagnosed the problem to be the fan because I could not hear it spinning at all. So I immediately diagnosed the problem and uh, um, that's what you'd want to do too. Uh, if your PlayStation 4 only turns on for a few minutes, most likely it's a defective fan. Uh, and what you'd want to do is you'd want to put your ear up really close to the PlayStation while it's running and see if, if you hear the fan spinning. You would want to eject the disc uh, drive and ma make sure there's no disc in the console because you don't want any noise interference when you're trying to hear the fan. Um, also, you can take apart uh, the console or take the lower case off and physically look at the fan to see if it's spinning or not. Um, and I'm going to be doing that uh, shortly to show you guys. Um, and I'm going to plug it in and show you exactly what is happening with the console and how we're going to fix uh, the problem. Um, and uh, let's start. So I'm going to turn it on real quick and show you guys what's going on. Um, console turns on, boots the screen, and then within a few minutes of it running, it will turn off. This one shuts off completely, but in certain instances, um, you might get a, a message on screen that says the PS4 is too hot and that the system's turning off. Um, so yeah. So what you'd want to do is you want to eject the disc. And then you'd want to put your ear up really close to the PlayStation and try to hear um, the fan spinning. If, if you don't hear the fan spinning, most likely the fans shot and need to be replaced. Sometimes these fans fail because of dust buildup and other times they just fail for no reason whatsoever and they completely stop spinning. So I can hear that the fan's not spinning, so I'm just going to put the game in um, and run the game just to show you guys uh, what it's like when it, when it turns off due to overheating. Damn shack is big. He looks big even sitting down. There you go. Um, I don't know if you guys missed it, but uh, there was a uh, message on screen for about a second that said the PS4 was too hot and um, and, the P and the system shut off completely it beeped and then it turned off uh, so now I'm going to be disassembling the console and uh, fixing the problem okay so we're going to start by um, removing all these stickers on the back of the console, these four, one, two, three, and four.
Okay, once we've removed the, these stickers, there's gonna be Torx T8H screws that need to be removed. And we're gonna lift the bottom panel like this and we'll come off. Okay, so now we're gonna re remove the power supply. Um, so now we're gonna remove the power supply. We're going to remove this ribbon cable. We're going to remove this ribbon cable by pushing this metal piece down and then pulling the ribbon cable out. And we're going to remove the Wi Fi antenna cable, which you can just lift up. Now that we've got the power supply out and these cables removed, now we can take the motherboard out. I'm going to flip the console over. I'm going to remove the hard drive cover, like so. I'm going to remove all the bolts that hold uh, the board and the case in place. All the, all the screws have to come out. Once we remove the hard drive screw, the hard drive should just come right out. We're gonna um, lift the fan connector cable up, but you wanna be really gentle with it because it's sensitive. Remove the heat sink bolts. This piece should just lift off. Now the motherboard should come out easily like this. And that's the motherboard. I'm going to remove uh, these three screws here. And then 
the heat sink should just come out like so. A little bit of dust on there. Now we're down just to the plastic frame and the disk drive still in there. Um, but yeah, basically we're just down to the plastic frame, the mid frame of the console. To take the fan out, we're gonna release these two screws here. And the fan should just lift up. Like so. Now we're gonna put our new fan in here. Now the motherboard's gonna go back in. I'm gonna make sure that this cable goes through. Back plate. Sink bolts. Supply goes back in.
quickly plug it in to check and make sure the fan spins. Good as new. Okay, now we're going to put the bottom case back on. The front goes in first, the back just slides in. Now we're going to put the torque screws back in. And now it's all put back together and it's ready to go. So now we're going to be testing the console. I'm actually going to bring the bring a customer in and let him test his machine. Yeah, I just wanted you to test it. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it works. Okay. That's your old fan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So does it work good? Yeah, it works perfectly right now. The system didn't turn off in the middle of the game. Yeah, before it would turn off like what, two, th two to three minutes? Two to three minutes, it wouldn't even get this far. Yeah, there you go. Another repair video from Fast Tech, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like the videos. And check us out at www.fasttech.ca.